I'm Lisa Ramsey, founder and CEO of Medi-Cal Consulting Services. Let's review share of cost and how it works. Remember that a share of cost is similar to a deductible and not like a premium. It is not paid to Medi-Cal, instead it is paid to the providers directly. And if your medical bills exceed the monthly share of cost, Medi-Cal can cover any remaining expenses. Share of cost is only assessed for traditional Medi-Cal benefits. MAGI and SSI Medi-Cal are always approved with a zero share of cost. Once a traditional Medi-Cal application has passed the asset limit test, Medi-Cal will assess the circumstances and income to determine if the beneficiary is required to contribute to his or her medical cost. There is no income limit to traditional Medi-Cal. However, there are income limits to qualify for some types of Medi-Cal programs. Medi-Cal's Age Blind and Disabled Federal Poverty Level Program is a zero share cost type of Medi-Cal program. Since there is no share of cost, the applicant does not have to contribute towards their medical cost, including physician visits, hospital stays, pharmacy expenses, and so on. If the applicant is approved for the Age, Blind, and Disabled Federal Poverty Level Program and in-home supportive services, then all caregiving hours that are awarded are provided free of charge. What is countable income? Well, Medi-Cal calculates countable income as gross income minus a $20 income deduction and any medical insurance premiums. The remaining amount is the countable income used to compare to the income limit for the age, blind, and disabled federal poverty level income limit. Let's look at some examples of the calculations. Jim is a 78-year-old unmarried man and his assets are within the asset limit. He lives in his home, not in an assisted living or skilled nursing facility. Jim will qualify for Medi-Cal based on his assets. Medi-Cal will then review his circumstances and income to determine if he should have a share of cost. Jim receives a Social Security income of $1,912.60. His Medicare premium is $144.60. He also pays for a supplemental plan in the amount of $320 per month. Jim's countable income is $1,428. Jim is eligible for the ABDFBL program because he's over the age of 65 and his countable income is less than 1,468. He will qualify for the ABDFPL Medi-Cal program with zero share cost. Peter is an unmarried 82 year old man living at home, not in an assisted living or in a skilled nursing facility. Peter will qualify for Medi-Cal based on his assets. However, Medi-Cal will review his circumstances and income to determine if he should have a share of cost. Peter receives a Social Security income of $1,633.60. He pays his Medicare premium of $144.60. He pays for no other health insurance premiums. Peter's countable income is $1,469. Peter's countable income is over the limit by $1. Since he's over the limit, He's not eligible for the ABDFPL program. Peter will be approved for the medically needy program with a share of cost of $869. Something to consider, if Peter were to purchase additional health insurance in the amount of $1 or more, the premium would be deducted from his income. This will reduce his income below the income limit and he will qualify for the age blind and disabled federal poverty level program and have zero share of cost. Here at MCS, we will help you by explaining how Medi-Cal will determine your current eligibility and share cost. We can handle the entire Medi-Cal application process for you with guaranteed results. And we even provide ongoing case management support. So feel free to contact us about a free consultation. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit our website for other frequently asked questions.